they often speak of how quickly our time runs out, how it escapes our hands and flies away. But for video game enthusiasts, it's really hard to relate to this, at least sometimes. When there's an important video game release looming on your horizon, it's during these days when the hours never seem to pass. This is more or less what often happens to me with some of the titles I must look forward to. Right now, there is Triangle Strategy together with Elden Ring on my horizon. I'm constantly on the web looking for updates and new articles about these two titles. If you feel like me, I give you 15 alternatives to kill time until the release of Triangle Strategy. But before starting, please remember to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting us through a member program, Patreon page and buy me a coffee page. Lots of perks and mystery box are with you. Anyway, let's go! The first title from Rad Codex adds heavy exploration to a genre that usually moves from one strictly confined battlefield to another. As you explore the world and dungeons of voids by tactics, enemies will appear and you'll have to face them right then and there on the same map. This also means you can use your combat abilities to facilitate exploration, freezing a river so you can cross it for example. The game's exploration and progression are non-linear, so open-world enthusiasts will have plenty to do, with 18 classes and hundreds of Carter's options, Boy Spy Tactics has limitless party builds to experiment with as well. If you are into pixelated retro looks, the game has plenty of that as well. If you enjoyed the destructible terrain and expensive exploration of Rad Codex Void Spire Tactics, be sure to check out Alvora Tactics. This time you'll be on a quest to defeat the Great Serpent Alvora, or you can just wander around and see what the world has to offer. As always, the game's pixel art evokes the golden age of Super Nintendo JRPGs, and the music feels like a modern remix of a classic soundtrack. It perfectly captures the serious blend of old and new gameplay styles. Alvora Tactics is on Steam and Itch.io. What is a zodiac? To some, a technological miracle, a source of limitless energy. Card-based mechanics are all the rage, but dice need to get a fair shake every once in a while. Children of Zodiacs has card-based tactical combat similar to Grand Guild, but each play can be modified further by a dice rule. This injects an element of Armello into gameplay, and you can craft your dice to push for the effects you want. The game follows Nami, the leader of a gang of thieves, searching for ancient relics and trying to take back wealth from the nobility. It's a harsh world, and the team can only rely on one another. The lovely Carter designs really stand out, creating a memorable cast. On Humble Steam and Go. Before Arthur's golden age, our realm was lost in decadence, shattered, distraught. We were a broken Britain. So the Legacy Omen is the grim and gritty saga of King Arthur's father, Uther Pendragon. Before the sword is ever drawn from the stone, Britain is wracked by strife as power-hungry lords murder and backstab their way to the top. Guided by Merlin, Uther leads a band of outcasts to defeat the Duke of Wessex and seek Excalibur. The game's visual style makes it a great choice for players of the Banner Saga, all the more so thanks to its setting in the pre-Norman Britain. Sword Legacy Omen doesn't shy away from blood and is a bit darker than the Banner Saga, but if you like one you'll probably like the other. On Fanatical, Humble and Steam.
perhaps more than any other game on this list, Felsil Abyss Mark feels like an reincarnation of Final Fantasy Tactics. The maps and menus are look and feel like a hand-draw reimagining of the classic, right down to the selecting a character's new job from a ring of outfits. Every character's appearance can be customized, though, so how they dress won't necessarily be defined by their class, it's all up to you. The visuals in Feldseal are stunning and it's clear that the game's setting is deeply imagined, standing on its own without trying to be Ivalis. While it was clearly influenced and inspired by Final Fantasy Tactics, Feldseal Bitter's Mark deserves to be prized on its own merits. This is a game that belongs on the radar of any team-based RPG fans. Rated everyone 10 and up. It's always exciting to dive into a new fantasy setting. Carter, history and lore are some of the main reasons the genre is so popular and enduring. Tactics V Obsidian Brigade is a retro genre through an original fantasy world. Its lovely crafted battles offer both isometric and top-down views, so you can play with your favorite style or switch it up for a change of pace. Tactics V sports, 14 playable classes and dozens of maps, and if you don't see it all in one go, it also offers a new game plus option. If you're looking to relive the dream of the 90s, look no further than Tactics V Obsidian Brigade. Who would have thought that almost 40 years after its cinematic release that Jim Henson's classic film The Dark Crystal would get a video game adaptation? Alright, technically the game is an adaptation of the Netflix series that tried to bring back the franchise, but got concealed after one season, but my point stands out. The game is quite well put together, with Carter customization including classes, abilities and gear. There are, of course, numerous cameos by Carters from both the film and the series, so if you're a fan, this is definitely a game to get. Even if you never heard of The Dark Crystal, it's a fine game in its own right. This game is set in the same world as Void, Spy, Tactics and Alvora Tactics, and in many ways plays similarly. It focuses on exploration and enemy encounters turn into tactical battles on the same map, but Horizon's Gate is seafaring adventure through and through. Imagine if Sid Meier's Pirates were a JRPG and you'll have a pretty good idea of what this game has to offer. Horizon's Gate is the latest game from Rat Codex World of Herald. So, the world has been expanded upon since the previous two games. Whether you are a fan of the series or just want to sail the seas in search of adventure, it's a great way to explore the setting. At once. The second title from Drake Studios, Grand Guilds, offers card-based tactical combat in a richly designed setting. Each party member has a unique playstyle, so you'll be focusing on developing individuals rather than classes. In addition to the main story across the continent of Virin, there are side quests that offer procedurally generated challenges as well. Grand Guild is a very good looking game with location and card designs that wouldn't be out of place in an episode of Avatar, The Last Arbender. If you're looking for your next game, give it a look. Trouble Shooter Abandoned Children is an ocean deep SRPG visual novel with over 100 playable missions. Players manage a company of troubleshooters, essentially privatized law enforcement in the unstable nation of Valhalla. 
Since this is an anime style game, your troubleshooters are all teenagers who could have easily been models or pop stars. Jokes aside, Troubleshooter offers tons of content and the missions you can undertake vary based on whom you've hired. It will take a very long time to see 100% of the game, consider that developer Dandelion hopes to make Troubleshooter into a franchise, it could be a long term commitment for dedicated fans. Check out our review on ToonBaseLovers.com My name is Alicia. I wouldn't fit in anywhere at Wintermore Academy if it wasn't for a tactics club. Here is a game with style and charm to spare, a cozy tale of magical high school students unraveling a mystery while trying to make friends and find themselves. Wintermore Tactics Club presents its heartfelt, readable story in a visual novel style interpersoned with tactical battles. Make no mistake, this isn't Harry Potter. The misfits of Tactics Club will have to contend with social groups like the Psych Detectives, giving Wintermore a flair that plenty of magical school stories are lacking. We can use our tactics and our wit. This is definitely a game you'll want to play for the story. The combat is fairly simple compared to other games on this list, so don't come looking for a hardcore challenge. If you're looking to adhere yourself to a new cast of cards, though, definitely check this out. We can save Tactics Club. Wintermore Tactics Club. Now available. Endless fluff games, Fire Tactics is a bright, colorful journey. The multi-level isometric grid positively shouts Final Fantasy Tactics, but the element-focused gameplay and not quite anime look of the Carters make it clear that Fire Tactics is his own game. Even though the combat interface is simplified, the game strikes just the right balance in terms of difficulty to challenge most players without asking them to suffer defeat over and over again as they improve. For classic gameplay with modern sensibilities, it doesn't get much better than this. With eye-popping visuals and a soundtrack worthy of the JRPG's greats of the PS1 era, Fight Tactics is definitely worth your time. Tenderfoot Tactics is a strikingly stylized game of exploration and combat. Players frustrated by missing a point blank shot in games like XCOM will be glad to hear that all attack outcomes in Tenderfoot Tactics are deterministic. That's not to say the unexpected can happen. Unintended consequences are a core component of the gameplay, but you'll never have to worry about a bad roll ruining your day. Units in Tenderfoot Tactics reshape the battlefield as they see fit. You can rise and lower elevation, drain rivers, grow plants, start fires and more. Each of these could turn out to have more of an effect than you expect. Though, the fire could easily spread out of control or a chasm could drain a lake. Carefully, clever play will give you an experience you won't soon forget. If music be the food of love, play on, and Song Story is a highly ambitious turn-based RPG set in a world where magic is empowered by music. Your character will need to harmonize with one another on the battlefield to get the most out of their powers. This unique system is made all more exciting by the soundtrack, composed by Hitoshi Sakimoto, whom you may recognize as the composer for Final Fantasy Tactics. And Sunk Story opens with a final battle and works its way backward through the Carter's journey, setting up plenty of ways to defy and subvert expectations while telling its tale. The perspective would shift to parties on both sides of Las Faria's 77 year war, so there should be twists and turns aplenty. The game is currently in early access but it's looking great. Peggy 12 Live by the Sword takes the core concept of Final Fantasy Tactics sprite-based combat on a 3D isometric grid and makes it competitive. All battles in Live by the Sword are 5 vs 5, making it a game of skills and planning where you can never blame a loss on being outnumbered. 
this opened up plenty of design avenues and developer Labrador Studios knows it. In addition to a story campaign, Live by the Sword will include multiplayer, a roguelike mode and a puzzle-like technician mode. If you are particularly keen to prove your dominance, the multiplayer has an optional ranked ladder. This early access title is one to watch. Don't forget to check out the written version of this video, please remember to hit the like button, share it, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting us through our member program Patreon page, buy me a coffee page, lots of perks and mystery boxes awaits you. Wish you the best, ciao!